It's a great joy for me to uh, speak a little bit about the worship of God's people in the Church of the Nazarene in the region of Eurasia, the vast, varied, vibrant region that it is my real honour and privilege to lead as Regional Director. Uh, I love worship. Worship uh, is a great privilege uh, and a high calling in the Church. And my life, really, since I came to know Jesus some 40 plus years ago, uh, worship was always something that was a great passion of mine. As a musician and a singer and a worship leader of many years, I love worship. I, I love the variety of worship and the passion in worship. I believe it's part of who we are as Christians and particularly as Nazarenes. It connects so much with uh, our identity. Christian people worship God, the triune God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Holiness people by the Spirit's power worship and connect with Jesus together, corporately and individually, uh, from a heart of gratitude for the cross and for the righteousness and sanctification that we have through him. And missional people uh, worship as part of their, their missionary uh, endeavours that people see there is something unique and authentic in us um, that also maybe draws people to uh, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords that we worship with passion. I'm in India right now, uh, which is part of the incredible region that, that we have, and the vibrancy, just that you'll see some scenes and people behind me uh, of this place is amazing. Uh, I've, I've really had a great uh, joy, along with Maggie, whilst we've been working here to see how the people in India themselves actually worship. It's passionate, it's unique uh, to them and to their culture, and yet, of course, it is, is for Jesus and by the Spirit uh, and in honour of the Father. For me, worship is something that comes from a place of gratitude, but also a place of longing, uh, desperation. It's joyous, it's deep, uh, it's anointed, um, it's where we see, feel and know the presence of God and where some of his glory is revealed. I believe that in worship people are healed, people are restored, people are transformed. In the last couple of years since I've been the regional director, I've managed to be part of worship services on most of my fields. Well, all of my fields uh, digitally are, are online, but well, most of my fields in person. Uh, and it's very different, uh, which is great. Sometimes uh, hearing songs and instruments that I've never heard before in languages I've never heard before. Sometimes hearing songs that I know very well, but in a different language. It's been my privilege also to lead worship and sing and play in uh, churches uh, and amongst people uh, that Maggie and I have been with. So I want to encourage you that God has been worshipped in every language, uh, in every culture, by every people on our region. Um, it's exciting, it's passionate, it's different, uh, and, and I think it is so holy uh, and such a blessing to God and to my heart to be part of that. So I, I, I pray that God will continue to move in great power on our region, in our church, and through our people, and that the heart of worship will continue to be expressed by all the people of Eurasia. And it's a great joy for me and a privilege to be with them in worship and, and to be led by them and to lead them as we come together before God. Thanks for taking this time to watch this video.